to me and to all my loved ones. What's more, we owe her the most sincere obligation. Any family could owe to their mom. For her adoration love. Direction getting it and model. Sovereign Elizabeth was an everyday routine very much experienced. A commitment with fate kept. What's more, she is grieved generally profoundly in her. Passing. That commitment of deep-rooted administration I recharge. To all today. Close by the individual anguish that all my. Family are feeling. We additionally share with so many of you in the joined realm in every one of the nations where the sovereign was head of state in the federation and across the world. A profound feeling of appreciation for the more than 70 years in which my mom as sovereign served individuals of so many countries. In 1947 on her 21st birthday, she promised in a transmission from Cape town to the republic to give her life whether it be short or long to the help of her people groups that was in excess of a commitment it was a significant individual responsibility which characterized for what seems like forever she made penances for obligation her commitment and dedication was sovereign won't ever falter through seasons of progress and progress through seasons of euphoria and festivity. Furthermore, through seasons of pity and misfortune. Throughout her life of administration we saw that. With standing adoration for custom. Along with that intrepid hug of. Progress. Which makes us extraordinary as countries. The fondness reverence and regard she. Propelled. Turned into the sign of her rule. Also, as each individual from my family can. Affirm. She consolidated these characteristics with warmth, humor and an unerring skill generally to see the best in individuals. I honor my mom's memory. Furthermore, I honor her life of administration. I realize that her demise brings perfect misery to so many of you. What's more, I share that feeling of misfortune past measure with all of you. At the point when the sovereign came to the high position, England and the world were all the while adapting with the privations and result of the second universal conflict. Nevertheless living by the shows of prior times. Throughout the most recent 70 years we have seen our general public become one of numerous societies and numerous beliefs. The establishments of the state have changed thusly Yet, through all changes and difficulties, our country and the more extensive group of domains, of whose abilities, customs, and accomplishments I am so unspeakably pleased, have succeeded and prospered. Our qualities have remained and should remain steady. The job. Furthermore, the obligations of government additionally remain, as does the sovereign specific relationship and obligation towards the congregation of Britain. The congregation where my own confidence is so well established. In that confidence and the qualities it rouses, I have been raised to love a feeling of obligation to other people. Also, to hold in the best regard the valuable customs opportunities and obligations of our novel history. Furthermore, our arrangement of parliamentary government, as the sovereign herself did with such unswerving dedication. I also now gravely promise myself, all through the leftover time God awards me, to maintain the sacred standards at the core of our country. Furthermore, any place you might reside in the unified realm or in the domains and regions across the world. What's more, anything that might be your experience or convictions, I will try to serve you with dependability, regard and love, as I have all through my life. My life will obviously change. As I take up my new obligations, it will at this point not be workable for me to give such a great deal my time and energies to the causes and issues for which I give it a second thought so profoundly. However, I realize this significant work will go 
on in the confided in hands of others. Unfamiliar. This is likewise a period of progress for my family. I rely on the caring assistance of my dear spouse Camilla in acknowledgement of her own devoted public administration since our marriage a long time back. She turns into my sovereign associate. I realize she will bring to the requests of her new job the relentless commitment to obligation on which I have come to depend so much as my main successor William currently expects to be the Scottish titles which have implied to such an extent to me. He succeeds me as Duke of Cornwall and takes on the responsibilities regarding the Duchy of Cornwall which I have attempted for over 50 years. Today, I'm glad to make him sovereign of grains, the country whose title I've been so extraordinarily special to bear during such a great deal my life and obligation with Catherine close to him our new ruler. Furthermore, Princess of Ribs will I know. Proceed to rouse and lead our public discussions assisting with bringing the minor to the middle ground where imperative assist with canning be given. I need likewise to communicate my adoration for Harry. Also, Meghan. As they keep on building their lives abroad. In barely seven days time we will meet up as a country, as a republic and without a doubt a worldwide local area to let my darling mother go. In our distress, allow us to recall. What's more, draw strength from the illumination of her model. For the benefit of all my loved ones, I can offer the most true and genuine thanks for your sympathies and backing. They mean more to me than I can ever potentially express. What's more, to my dear mom, as you start your last extraordinary excursion to join my dear late daddy, I need basically to say this. Much thanks to you. Much thanks to you. For your affection and commitment to our loved ones. Also, to the group of countries you have served so perseveringly such a long time. May trips of holy messengers sing you to thy rest.